गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माई सेल्फ अंकित आचार्य वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन अस्मो गोस्वामी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टूडे माई कंटिन्यूस जी टी यू क्वेश्चन पेपर सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ वैक्टर कैलकुलस एंड लीनियर अल्जेब्रा ऑफ जून टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन सो अब क्वेश्चन नंबर वन यू ऑलरेडी सीन दिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर सो लेट सी स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए फर्स्ट पार्ट वेरीफाई वेदर द फॉलोइंग सेट ऑफ मेट्राइस आर हर्मिशन और स्क्यू हर्मिशन और नाइदर गिव रीजन हियर वी हैव टू मेट्राइस वन इज टू क्रॉस टू मेट्रिक्स सेकेंड वन इज थ्री क्रॉस थ्री मेट्रिक्स दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्क इन टू मार्क्स सो वी हैव टू चेक डेट दिस टू मेट्राइस आर इन हर्मिशन स्क्यू हर्मिशन और नाइदर सो हर्मिशन मीन्स वॉट Uh, a matrix, a square matrix A is called Hermitian matrix if A star is equal to A. Now A star is what? A star is equal to the transpose of the complement of the matrix. So here we have to <coughs> check that suppose this is our matrix A, right? So we have to find out first of all complement of this matrix that is we denoted as A bar, and then transpose of this matrix that is transpose of A bar. And that is called a star and then we have to check that a star is equal to a or a star is equal to minus a if a star is equal to a then it is called hermitian matrix and if a star is equal to minus a then it is called skew hermitian matrix and if uh, both the condition not satisfied then uh, it is neither right so it is not a hermitian matrix nor skew hermitian matrix so let's see in this matrix uh, what happened here is our matrix a a c plus id c minus id b right a bar so complement of this matrix so a and b are real number so a is as it is right now complement of the complex number a plus ib that is equal to a minus ib right that you should know that a plus i the complement of a plus ib that is equal to a minus ib so a C minus ID, C plus ID. Instead of C plus ID, we are written here C minus ID. So this is the complement of this complex number. Then C minus ID becomes C plus ID, and this is B as it is. And then we have to transpose of this matrix. So this is A <coughs> transpose of A bar that is equal to A C plus ID, C minus ID, B, right? And you can see uh, this is exactly. Uh, you can see this is exactly a right a c plus i d c minus i d b and that is exactly a c plus i d c minus i d b so we get a star is equal to a this is a star right transpose of a complement that is a a star so that's why a is hermitian matrix now our second matrix b this is our b you can see this is our matrix b right 2i 1 plus i minus 3 plus 2i minus 1 plus i 0 2 minus i 3 plus 2i minus 2 minus i minus 3i. This is a 3 cross 3 matrix. Uh, <coughs> call it this matrix is B. We want to find B bar. That means complement of this matrix B bar. So what is B bar become? Uh, the first row is uh, minus 2i. Uh, we have to complement each and every complex number right instead of a plus ib we have to write down a minus ib so minus 2i 1 minus i uh, this number become 1 minus i then minus 3 minus 2i right then this element this number become minus 1 minus i 0 2 plus i 3 minus 2i minus 2 plus i and 3i so here is our b bar right now transpose of b bar that is equal to minus 2i minus 1 plus i 3 minus 2i just we have to interchange row and column right so you can see the first row become now first column the second row become the second column and the third row from b bar become the third column so this is our b star uh, now minus will be common in in each and every elements so in in the in matrix when we uh, take minus will be common 
the matrix become now 2i minus uh, 1 minus i minus 3 plus 2i then minus 1 plus i then 0 2 minus i and 3 plus 2i minus 2 minus i and then minus 3i now this is exactly b you can see this matrix is exactly a matrix b this matrix right so what we get b star is equal to minus b so that's why b is a skew hermitian matrix right so first matrix is a hermitian matrix and the second one is skew hermitian matrix okay so this question was complete here uh, next question question 2 a second part reduce the following matrix to reduce row equal and form and this question was asked in three marks uh, here we have four cross four matrix right now <coughs> what is the meaning of first of all just try to understand what is the meaning of row equal and form and reduce row equal and form in any matrix there are if it satisfied the this three conditions then we can say that it is in row equal and form matrix the first condition is uh, first of all you have to find out the leading entry right now what is the meaning of leading entry in any row the first non-zero element the first non-zero element is our leading entry below that leading entry in that particular column all the element should be zero that is our first condition uh, second condition is if there is any zero row it should be the bottom of the matrix if there is any zero row it should be the bottom of the matrix and whenever we are going from above to below right whenever we are going from above to below our leading entry is always going from left to right okay our leading entry is always going from left to right so if these three conditions are satisfied then we can say that our matrix is in row column form matrix now to become a reduced row column form matrix uh, another two conditions we have to add in this three conditions so total five conditions the the first condition is uh, the leading entries must be one right the leading entry must be one in row column form it can be possible that leading entry is not one it can be any non-zero number but in reduced row column form a leading entry is always become a one right and the second condition is that we have to add it uh, into a row column form matrix that is uh, if there is any column in which we have leading entry if there is any column in which we have leading entry in that column except that leading entry all the elements should be zero that means what above that leading entry in that particular column and below that leading entry in that particular column all the element become zero all the element should be zero so except that leading entry all the element should be zero in that particular column so if this total five conditions uh, happen in any matrix then we can say that the given matrix is in reduced row equal form so we have to convert this matrix into a reduced row column form using our uh, row operations right so let's see how we convert this matrix into a reduced row column form this is our matrix right 1 2 3 minus 1 the first row is 1 2 3 minus 1 the second row is uh, minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 the third row is 1 0 1 1 and the fourth row is 0 1 1 minus 1 now the first row first first process we have to do that we are multiplying first row with 2 and add into the second row so that's why this element becomes 0 then we have multiply the first row with minus 1 and add into the third row so this element becomes 0 and you can see uh, in the first column the last element is already already 0 so in the first step we are processing that we are multiplying first row with 2 and add into the second row and then multiplying first row with minus 1 and add into the third row so let's see what happened in second row and third row uh, you can see the first row is as it is the second row become uh, 0 when we multiplying first row with my, uh, 2 and add into the second row the second row become uh, 0 then 4 minus 1 3 uh, then 6 minus 3 that is 3 uh, then minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 so 0 3 3 minus 3 correct now then multiplying first row with minus 1 and add into the third row so just uh, 1 minus 1 0 then 0 minus 2 minus 2 then 1 minus 3 minus 2 1 minus minus 1 2 
so 0 minus 2 minus 2 2 correct and the first and fourth row are as it is uh, whatever the make changes are in the second and third row now the next process you can see this, uh, in the first row this is our leading entry below that leading entry now we have all zeros in that column right now next process uh, we are multiplying fourth row with minus 3 right we are multiplying fourth row with minus 3 and add into the second row so you can see the second row become zero row because uh, the second row is exactly the multiplication of the fourth row uh, when we multiply fourth row by 3 we get second row so this is 0 1 1 minus 1 this is 0 3 3 minus 3 right so when we mul uh, multiplying fourth row with minus 3 and add into the second row the second row become 0 correct similarly when we multiplying fourth row with 2 and add into the third row the third row also becomes 0 right so that two processes are our next processes we are multiplying fourth row with minus 3 and add into the second row and multiplying fourth row with 2 and add into the third row so the second and third row become 0 you can see only the first and fourth row are non zero row but to become a reduced row equivalent form or row equivalent form there is one important condition that uh, zero rows always in the bottom of the matrix right so that's why we are interchanging some rows now uh, right we are interchange the second and fourth row so the fourth row become second row and second row become now fourth row you can see r24 because of there is one conditions that if there is any zero row it should be the bottom of the matrix okay so this is our fourth row become now second row and the zero row which is in second row that is now in fourth row okay now uh, is it in reduced uh, is it in row equivalent form yeah correct this matrix is in row equivalent form but this is not in reduced row equivalent form because <coughs> because you can see this is our leading entry below that leading entry we have zero in second row this is our leading entry uh, below that leading entry we have zeros right but above that leading entry we don't have here zero so that's why we are multiplying second row with minus two and add into the first row that is our next process and the final process we are multiplying second row with minus 2 and add into the first row so the first row become 1 0 right 3 minus 2 1 and then minus 1 plus 2 1 correct so this matrix is now in reduced row equivalent form it satisfied all the conditions that leading entry is going from left to right whenever we are going from above to below only in two rows we have a leading entry right because third and fourth row are already zero rows and that is uh, in the bottom of the matrix okay in 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 particular column except the leading entry all the elements are zero you can see in, in first and second column only we have leading entry and in both the column except the leading entry all the elements are zero right so all the conditions are satisfied in this matrix so this matrix is in reduced row equivalent form matrix which is required in the question right so here the complete the this question question 2b second part the next question question 3a first part show that uh, this notation this inner product uv that is equal to 9 u1 v1 plus 4 u2 v2 is an inner product on r2 generated by a that is equal to 3 0 0 2 so here is the solution let uv belongs to r2 define inner product uv that is equal to a u dot a v so that is equal to a v transpose uh, this is one important theorem which is uh, in inner product space in the chapter of inner product space which we use here so inner product uv that is equal to a u a v that is equal to a v transpose dot a u that is equal to v transpose a transpose a u 
now v transpose means what this is v1 v2 as a row vector a transpose that is same as 3002 this is a 3002 and this is u u1 u2 now v1 v2 that is equal to 9004 multiplication of this two matrix multiplication of this two matrices both are two cross two matrix so we can definitely multiply this two matrices so pick up the first row with multiply with the first column so you will get 9 into 0 plus uh, multiply with the second column you get 3 into 0 plus 0 into 2 so that is 0 then multi uh, pick up the second row of the first matrix and multiply with each column you will get 0 into 3 0 plus 2 into 0 0 and 0 into 0 0 plus 2 into 2 4 so finally you will get 9 0 0 4 this is row vector v1 v2 this is u1 u2 multiply with this uh, 9 u1 4 u2 and then you will get 9 finally 9 u1 v1 plus 4 u2 v2 so now we verify that inner product uv is an inner product on r2 that we have to verify right said that this is inner product so it satisfied all the four conditions to become a inner product space in a product u with u that is equal to au au that is always that that is the norm au square that is always greater or equal to 0 <coughs> then if in a product u with u that is equal to 0 then in a product uh, then au with au that is equal to 0 that is what norm au square is equal to 0 that means au is equal to 0 so u is a zero vector in that case then if in a product uv that is equal to au av that is equal to that can be expressed as av that a is a matrix v is a vector dot au so that is in a product vu and finally we want to prove this property in a product u plus vw that is equal to in a product uw plus in a product vw and that is also satisfied with easily some illustration uh, a in a